As we said at the start of Inside Cricket, a total Caribbean flavour to this week's show. Next up is our weekly birthday feature and who else but another West Indian legend. Brian Lara turns 43 and to celebrate Lara's birthday we bring you a chat with Brian Charles talking to another West Indian great, Jimmy Adams. The side effects of the Lara Less syndrome are pretty obvious. Don't understand what's going on here. The common characteristics include sudden collapses, a gapping hole, and the general lack of oomph. While the Windies attempt to find a cure to their Lara Less hangover, Inside Cricket decided to check up on the man himself. Here's Jimmy Adams in a chat with him. Give me your own assessment of how you saw yourself relative to your contemporary era. How, do, how did you see yourself as a batsman, as a player in this modern era? Well, it's, it's a difficult question because I think I came from the old era, you know, the sort of the last bastion myself, like the likes of Shane Warne, you know, Sachin, coming out of, of the, the players from the 70s and 80s. Uh -huh. We started in the, in the late 80s and sort of carried through the 90s. I think presently it is, it's a big difference. I look at myself really as, as someone who, you know, that transitional period in cricket, uh -huh. not just what happens off, on the field but also off the field. And um, I think I've represented uh, both eras uh, pretty well, where I've realized the importance of technology and, and the physical side of the game and the preparational side of the game and worked really hard to keep myself in the game for this length of time but also enjoyed um, the flair and flamboyance of the players in the past. And that's something that a lot of people in the streets would mention, you know, the fact that I've sort of entertained, I've kept, you know, the spirit of the game and the traditional side of the game up and during that period of time. I think greatness is something that's restored, not, not um, self-inflicted. So I try to stay away from that. But, you know, what I do feel is that I've been a competitor at the, the highest level. I really do respect the opportunity that I've had to play with uh, cricketers around the world, the Shane Warns, I will call him great, Sachin Tendulkar great. You know, it's, it's an awesome experience to play international sport for something like 17 years and um, it's something that I always cherish. Why would anybody want to score 500 runs? I mean, give, give me a little bit of insight on what goes through your mind when you say on 250. To keep going to 300, 350, 400 and, and, and beyond. I think it's, it's the way how I approach my cricket, you know. Um, and batting especially, we're talking about batting records. It's the fact that I go out there to bat and to sort of move myself from a position of, I would say, a, a fragile position when you now go out to bat, you're a bit nervous, to move into a dominate position, a dominant position, sorry. And um, that comes about and when you start dominating the bowling, I think there's no reason why you should stop. You know, not a lot of batsmen think, well, you know, I'm 10 short of 100. Mm -hmm. And when they get to that 100, they sort of relax and but I move on. I think when I get to 60 that, you know, there's still got 60 overs left in the day and if I bat the entire 60 overs I can get very close to 200. So I'm not really limiting myself to any milestones. 